And I am ready for our taste test, but I think somebody might know a little better than Tina if this tastes correct. Maybe Daddy Wu could try it for us. <laughs> TV family, this is Tina Wu, and you know the last time, with the last time we cooked together, Daddy Wu was here too, and that's what made her burst into tears. Oh it was gosh. a big surprise. It was amazing. It was great. It was amazing. But we love his food so much. Every once in a while, she makes a nice family meal here of some of Daddy Wu's recipes. Daddy was a great restaurateur himself. Yes, yes, he had a restaurant in Ohio, and it was amazing. All my friends loved it. Free food for them. What's not to love? And, <laughs> but it's, it's better than just free, it's delicious. And it's amazing. His dishes are all good. There's nothing that's bad. Oh. Go Daddy Wu! Go Daddy Wu! All right, so today is Daddy Wu's chicken, right? Yeah, we're gonna be making Daddy Wu's crispy chicken and my family's carrot dressing. All right, Wu Wu. You, you, you're driving this boat. All right. How do you make this? So we're gonna start off with chicken. We all love chicken breasts. They are so easy and you really friendly. You can't write enough recipes for them. No. People you, love them. People love them. So we're just gonna marinate it. And okay. my dad loves marinating a lot at a time. So he buys it on sale, marinates a lot, and freezes them in individual bags. My sister loves Brilliant. this recipe. Yep. This is her favorite. So we got a little bit of sake. If you don't have sake, you can use dry sherry. Yep. We have a little bit of soy sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. Yum. A little nuttiness. A little bit of oyster sauce. And if you can't find oyster sauce, you, you can. can. Regular grocery stores have it, but for if, sure. Yeah, if you can't, you can use hoisin. Oh, hoisin, everybody has yeah, it in the exactly. fridge already, right? And you don't even use it, it just sits <clears throat> right, there. Right, it just sits there. So we're gonna add a little bit of mirin, and we got some ginger. This is the trick. A lot of ginger. This is what makes it so flavorful and delicious. Go nuts with the ginger, people. Go heavy with the ginger. Last time we went heavy me do with this the lemon. And you can, you can yeah. keep doing that. So a little bit of garlic too, and I like to season it with a little white pepper. So in this I'm bag, gonna the this is marinated. This oh yeah. Faster. So this is marinated overnight, and we're right. just going to do a simple three bread, simple with some flour, some eggs, and some panko. Great. So I'm just going to crack some eggs. Oh no, I don't have a garbage bowl. Oh, oh my God. Oh no. No garbage yeah. bowl. Oh, what no. the woo woo? I'll be right back. She'll be right with you. I would show you how to finish preparing this, but I have oh no gosh. idea. Oh my gosh, garbage ball. Always a garbage ball. Always a garbage ball. So I got a couple of eggs right here and I'm just gonna whisk them right up. It smells great already and you oh, yeah. cook it. And as I told you before, my sister loves this crispy chicken. Does your sister cook a lot too? No, she doesn't really cook a lot. She just kind of hangs out. She waits out for you time. or daddy to cook yeah. for her? Yeah. She's like, oh, I'll just have someone prepare it for me, just she like my just mom. She just hangs out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> she just hangs out a lot. So I'm dredging it in the flour, yeah. and then quickly in the egg, and then right into the panko. And this is what makes it delicious and crispy. And panko is just like a I Japanese I like the panko bread. too because yeah. it gives you bigger pieces oh, of yeah. bread, so more surface area for it to get nice and crispy in the hot oil. Even when I make Italian cutlets, I always do a mixture of fine breadcrumb and panko or homemade breadcrumb so you get that extra crunch. Yeah, and then I- So this one's oh, ready to marinate. You just overnight. sort of smush it around. Smush it around and let it marinate. Throw it in the fridge. Forget about it until the next morning. Yep. And then right here, we put it on a little rack because you know you want the air to <clears> circulate and you don't want it to get soggy. Right, once you fry it, you can put it on a rack and keep it crispy in the oven. If you put it directly on a baking sheet, it'll get soggy on the bottom and the breading will fall off. Rach, do you mind grabbing me some more panko while I- Sure, babe. While I bread some more? And then we just fry this, right, in, yep. in some shallow, high temperature cooking oil? Yep, and that's all we do. Beautiful. All right, so is it a good time to take a quick break? It's totally a great time to We're take gonna a take quick a quick break. break. When we come back, we're gonna work on the dressing. Chicken and Tina's family's um, carrot 
dressing. Carrot dressing. For the salad that goes underneath the crispy mm -hmm. chicken. We have three pieces of chicken out. I'm gonna keep them in the oven so they stay nice and hot. Yes, yeah, that's We're a great We're working on another, another piece here. Tell them about the dipping sauce. So we're gonna make a little sauce to drizzle over. I have a little soy sauce and honey. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Again, more ginger. Ginger is what's really important Big in Asian cuisine. ginger cuisines. root. Yep, so you can just pick it out when you're done. A little bit of mirin, a little bit of sesame oil, and this is the trick. My dad adds a little white vinegar. Right. So it gives it that little acidity. That a little bit of acidity to finish. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, and then I'm gonna let leave it go it. till it's syrupy. Yeah, right? till it's nice and syrupy. Now let's work on the, the perfect salad dressing. This is my perfect salad dressing. If there's one thing you need to download today, this it's this is dressing. This is it. I, I will. Know, I know that sounds like I'm yelling at you, and I am. You need to download this dressing. So it, lemon juice? Lemon juice, I'm gonna zest a lemon, and then I'm also going to squeeze the juice in. The acidity from the lemon really carries it. Yep. And then we're gonna just add some carrots. Plus it's so good for you. There's oh, yeah. three giant Oops. carrots in one batch of the dressing. And it's so healthy. Delicious. Your kids will be fooled by it mm. because it's gonna have um, all these nutrients. You're putting salad on top of salad. That's Basically, you're dressing literally salad what you're doing. with salad. Exactly, and that's amazing. <laughs> She's so, so enthusiastic, it's adorable. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my carrots right in. We're gonna let the food processor do all the work yep. for us. And then we're gonna put our a little red, red onion. onion. She also has some scallions for the salad blooming. If you chop them up mirin. and put them in cold water, they curl up and they look like little trumpets. Very pretty. They're very pretty. My dad said presentation is like everything. Presentation is everything. You eat with your eyes first. So we're gonna add in a little white vinegar. So mirin. Vinegar, vinegar, honey, honey, onion, onion, lots of lemon juice, lots of lemon juice, the zest, a little bit of sesame oil, and a little bit of mirin. Mm. It's like you're building, you're gonna have all these tools because you'll have all these things and the it flavors all- flavors layer over and over. Exactly, and now we're gonna let our food processor do all the work for us. Grind this up. Mirin is sweet cooking rind. It's made from rice and it's really easy to buy because everywhere sells it. Everywhere sells Whole it, guys. Food. Regular grocery store. You'll, you'll find it in your wine aisle or your um, vinegar aisle. Yeah. So there we go. We got the perfect it's done. dressing. Beautiful. When we come back, we'll put the meal together right after this. We have three great chefs with five ingredient recipes each. We have the lovely Tina Wu, a member of our family here at our show, showing you her daddy Wu's chicken. The crispy chicken, let's top that. We've got a big pile of salad on salad, Tina's special dressing that's made of mostly carrots. Ground carrots, very little oil, a little touch of sesame oil for flavor, really. The mirin, the honey, the lemon juice, so bright, so fresh. What a great way to get your kids to eat vegetables. It's a sweet dressing the kids will love. It's so healthy too, and if you're gonna make it, you're gonna make a double batch because it's, it's gonna go like And that. it lasts in the fridge several days. It does, it lasts for at least two weeks. It's great. And then we've got the crispy chicken with the panko, marinated with ginger and garlic. A lot of those same flavors mirrored over and over and over. And then you're gonna drizzle your sauce over the top. I'm gonna drizzle you know, my sauce. <clears throat> speaking of family and fried chicken, I wanted to give a shout out to another member, well, sort of of my work family, Lee Brian Schrager. Lee Schrager runs the wonderful Food and Wine Festivals. This is Lee's new book, Fried and True. It's an entire book of fried chicken. Mm. Right? Order that, and it's even got a forward by my other buddy, Whoopi Goldberg. Congratulations, Lee. The book looks amazing. 50 different chickens. Amazing. Gorgeous. Now, back to Daddy Woo's crispy chicken. So now we're just gonna spoon over our top. You just don't want it to get too soggy. So you just spoon a little bit you over. You do this right before you serve. You don't want it to leave you with soggy chicken after you went to all the trouble of making it crispy. It is beautiful, Tina. And wait for it to disappear. Wait for it to disappear. Great job, Tina. Thank you, Daddy Woo. We miss you. Woo woo! Up next, one of our two finalists is gonna become a published author. Well, well on their way. Find out who that is, Dustin.